welcome back to Stratton Red Outdoors. In today's episode, I'm going to paint this shotgun, and it's one that I've had for about 15 years. I got it from my grandpa, and it hasn't always been the plan for this shotgun, but I've always wanted to paint one. So today's the day. Once we're done cleaning, we're going to run brake cleaner through the gun, and it'll break down all the grease and oil, and then we'll be able to paint. So stay tuned, and thank you guys for watching. So here we're getting the gun stripped down, we're disassembling it, and uh, it took a little bit of time to get it cleaned up because it's, it's an old gun and it needed a, a little TLC. And just like that, we're done cleaning. So I decided to do the base coat khaki. I see a lot of guys do it online and I decided to do the same thing. So here, I wanted to give it some texture, so I actually took an old fishing net off that had broken and wrapped the gun, gave it a couple layers of different uh, color, and as you can see when I unwrap it, there's um, a pretty good amount of texture there. You can see on the stock of the gun, and that's what the whole thing looks like. So then I just grabbed some weeds and grass and flowers from out of the yard and started going to town and giving it some different layers of color and this rust-oleum is a quick drying paint so I let it dry 20-30 minutes in between each layer and uh, kept rolling with it and obviously you're not going to paint your gun as is I taped up my lenses I taped up my chamber the trigger guard everything that's why you know you can see the trigger right there um, it's not exposed. Everything's taped up. Uh, make sure you do the end of your barrel. I did my buttstock because it's rubber and I just made sure nothing got internally into the gun. So I hope you're enjoying this so far. As you can see, I hung it with wires and um, I'll show you the paint I used towards the end and it's cheap um, Rust-Oleum camouflage paint and I just ran I believe it's four or five different colors and really just gave it as much depth as I could and I tried to make sure we use similar colors from the areas we hunt at and now that it has had time to dry it is a little grainy I'm gonna you know maybe try and do a clear coat and uh, see how that works so here's the finished product with the tape removed hope you guys enjoy it I think it looks really cool and um, we'll get out and shoot and rock and roll from there. <laughs> 